everyone so today's video is a haul um i really like doing hauls um and i really like watching them as well so i thought this would be quite a good video and i like to use often so you can see what's kind of in the shop and have a look because a couple of these invite um items were inspired by other youtubers because i saw what they got um and yeah i'll be showing you what i got Okay, so I'd like to just explain why I have this on before I start because otherwise I think there'll be a lot of comments down below and people asking me how this happened. This was because um, I was just messing about with my friend and I fell backwards onto my wrist um, and I sprained um, this bone here but it's not broken or anything, I've just got it in the TV grip just to support it. Anyway, the first place we went from Primark uh, is to Primark and I got this top which has got these little donuts on over it and it's super cute it's actually really big and it comes down to like here um, but I just thought it was really cute to tuck into leggings like I'm wearing today and it's just so bright and colourful with all these donuts on and it was five pounds thing the next things are kind of essential to school for school for me um i bought these and i'm going to repurchase them until i like finish school really i think because they're so cheap and but yet essential the first thing is this breast spray it is like we're not allowed to chew gum at school um so this is just good if you're about to go into class and you're um just want to kind of have freshen up and you can just spray this into your mouth and it just refreshes your breath and it tastes nice and minty the next thing is this primark beauty hand sanitizer gel i mean i'm the kind of person that would stick my hand in gum going down the banister um if people have had it and stuff um and um it's 60p so you're not really going to break the bank with it and it's just whatever you do you can just kind of freshen up and yeah even if you get ink on your hand like i draw my hands a lot and then it doesn't go very well so i just rub it off and use this and it's just really useful the next thing from primark gets this bag i'm using this as my pencil case as you can probably tell from inside but um i prefer to use makeup bags i think um this would be too small for my makeup items, but um, the pencil cases are usually too big for what I need to carry around in my pencil case. And this was three pounds, um, and it's just a little owl. And yeah, it's just really cute. The next thing from Primark is so cute. This is a, I'm using this as a pee bag, um, but it's this slush puppy um, bag, and it's got this kind of fabric, and in red it says slush puppy, and then it's got a picture of a really cute dog holding a slush puppy, which I just think it's so cute. Um, and it was only three pounds, so I thought I'd pick one of those up. And there's just a bit of a better view of it. I just think it's so cute, so I had to pick one of those up. Okay, so the next thing I got from Primark is this bag. Um, I needed a new school bag really because mine was getting a bit old, and everyone has got these kind of style bags. I really like it because it's tartan. I have tartan tops and other tartan accessories and stuff. Um, and yeah i just think it's really cute it's got a main pocket which is this big um it's really big inside and it's got this little small pocket which has got a leather bit here um and i just think it looks really cute like one shoulder like that um or even with both straps so i picked that up and it was only five pounds which i thought was really good for a school bag five pounds okay so the next thing i got from primark is this candle um i'm really loving candles at the moment and these are really cheap at only one pound um and i got the pink jasmine one which just smells amazing and i got the vanilla one before so i thought it'd be good to try the other flavor and they do have some other ones that are in like a fancy case with like ribbons around but i thought i'd just go for the cheap one at the moment and then if i like this scent then i'll go for the other one because they didn't have the vanilla in the fancy uh, one okay then so the next place we went was to boots um and the first thing i got from boots is this pot of chewing gum we're not allowed to have this at school but i like to keep this in my handbag for at the weekends or just when i'm out after school or whatever i'm doing uh, I like to keep this in my handbag and it's i got the extra white because i really like gum and it's just a bonus if it whitens your teeth and there's quite a lot in there um, and it's 46 pieces for 1.99 and they do actually do it cheaper in super drug for 150 but they didn't have any left when i went there okay so the next thing i got i got because it's just miracles for my hair literally um but I got the Glad Hair Day shampoo in this big bottle and it was a three for two. So I got two shampoos um, and one conditioner. 
Um, I got the conditioner because obviously you use conditioner a bit more sparingly than shampoo and I've been using just the guard headache shampoo and a normal conditioner. Um, so I just thought a bit, I'll get just get one of the conditioners just to try it out and see if I like it. Um, I don't actually know how much she's were really. I got a bit confused in the deal, but it was not that much for three bottles of Glad Hair Day. The next thing I got from Boots is the B Pure Milica Water. Quick and easy, three in one cleanser. It dissolves impurities in a single sweep, no water required. And it just looked like this. To be honest, me and my friend got this because we thought it just looked really kind of professional and fancy if you know what I mean it was only 250 which I think is really good and um, we actually tried a bit with one of the testers in the shop and I put it on my hand and rubbed it in and it makes it feel so soft you don't have to cleanse or tone just moisturize after this it says it's a three-in-one but I don't really trust the moisturizing that kind of comes in these so yeah it's really good Okay, so I forgot to say for Primark, um, I'm sorry I haven't got the whole pack here, I've opened them all so I just thought I'd show a few, I think there's something like 20 or 30 or something in a pack, but I got some of these thick and the thin hair bubbles from Primark for only a pound and you get a lot in a packet, obviously there's, these are only a couple I picked out of my drawer just to show you. Okay, so then we headed over to New Look, there wasn't much that caught my eye in New Look apart from this one thing that I picked up. I picked up this mint green shirt top. I just think it's beautiful and it was £12.99. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really pretty. Um, and it's got the green with the mint polka dots, um, which is just really cool. And it's just really nice and fitted. And I think this would look nice with leggings or even tucked into a black skate skirt. Or I think it just looks nice with, nice, with most things and even jeans and stuff. Okay, so next. Next we headed over to WH Smith and I had to pick up these because my name is Megan, um, my nickname is Maggie Moo and one of these are little erasers and they're, this one is a cow, sorry I can't really, um, and it's got like, it all comes apart like this and the print on its back comes off um, like so and its nose and it just kind of all collapses and it came with a pig which is really cute, but I seem to have lost the little thing for his nose. I wonder if this will fit. No, it doesn't fit, but um, it's just really cute anyway. But the only thing, because I lost the nose on this, I don't. I think it was missing when I bought it, so I don't think I lost it. But the, for both of these, it was only 99p, so I had to pick up some of these, just because they were so cute. Okay, so the last place we went was Poundland. Don't laugh, but um, there were just a couple of things that I've seen. They have like the American Pop Tarts and things in there. But unfortunately, it didn't have it the day we went. Um, so I picked up some of these instead. They are called the Dr. Moot Magic Sippers, and I got them in banana and strawberry. And if you don't know what they do, you can see they've got the little beads in here. All you have to do for these is I'll show you what an individual one looks like is you actually just put these in a normal glass of um, milk and it filters out these beads and turns it into a strawberry milkshake in your mouth or banana. They did do chocolate but I'm not such a fan of chocolate ice cream or milkshake or anything like that. So I just got those two flavours and they just filter so it's just in your mouth like strawberry milkshake and exactly the same for the banana one. And obviously they were a pound each. I actually got two of these just because I thought they were so good value and so fun to give out to my friends and things. Um, they are these fizzy pops. They are like a little pot of sherbet um, and you get 18 a pack. You don't just get these four but they're all kind of hidden at the side. And they come with straws as you can see at the back. And it's just different flavoured sherbet in like a little kind of like coke bottle you could say. Um, like a fizzy pop bottle really. Um, and the lid screws back on so that if you, you know, you finished with it and you want a bit more later or something, you can just screw it up and you get 18 in a pack and some straws. And I just thought they were so cute. So I picked up two of these, but um, the other, I couldn't be able to show you both really because you know what they look like. <laughs> and obviously these were one pound each. Okay, so the last thing of this haul today is um, these, which were the Vinto Chewy Bonbons. Um, I just really like these and I had most of them last night. I don't know if you can see that, um, but I just really like these and I thought it was good because they were a pound um, and yeah, they're just really nice. 
Okay, so I forgot to put this for Super Drug, which I didn't actually do anything for. But um, the one thing I got for this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Um, a lot of people have been raving out this, and I just really wanted to try it. Um, and I got it in the shade True Ivory, which is re it's really nice and creamy. Um, and it's just really nice for my skin, and it covers up blemishes really well i think this is about four or five pounds i'm not sure it is more high end but it, you are paying for quality okay so that's all for today um hope you enjoyed this video comment below if you want me to do some more or comment any video responses or um any ideas of what you want me to do next um please like and subscribe and rate out of 10 um which is a new thing i'll be introducing <laughs> um so yeah i just hope you liked it Bye!